Last week, Episcopalians from across our church gathered in Oklahoma City for a conference called Reclaiming the Gospel of Peace in Our Violent World. We chose Oklahoma City because it is the place of the terrorist bombing of the Murrah Federal Building in 1995. We gathered with different theological perspectives, different political uh, viewpoints, but we gathered as a people knowing that we have to challenge the violence of this world. During the conference, we had an opportunity to speak with one another and to plan for a future. And yet, during that conference and since, we've experienced more violence in our world. Bombings in Nigeria, the slashings in Pennsylvania, the killings of people in Kansas City, and just last night uh, in front of the Marathon building in Boston, finding yet another backpack, this time a false bomb. We know, as people of God, that we need our Savior. We need the gospel of Jesus Christ in a violent world. And so we are reminded on this most holy of weeks of how violence surrounds us every day and every place around the world. We're reminded of the violence that our Lord and Savior Jesus suffered at the hands of the Roman authorities. How he was scourged and mocked and how he was nailed to that cross, an ultimate act of violence. In this holy week, we can't pretend that violence isn't real in the world and in our lives today. Yet the good news of the gospel, the good news of this week, the good news of Good Friday, is that death and dying and the violence of the world is not the end of the story. As Christians, we believe that the peace of God that passes all understanding will triumph, and that in the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the promise and reality to overcome violence in this world. That is the Easter message. When we were in Oklahoma, I had the opportunity to facilitate the final conversation that we had as the gathered community. And the invitation I extended to the people there was to commit to doing something in the next three months that would embody their reclaiming the gospel of peace and living into the good news of Jesus Christ and the resurrection. The invitation that I extended to the gathering in Oklahoma City, I extend to us as a diocese. What one thing are you willing to commit to in the next three months to embody reclaiming the gospel of peace and embodying the good news of the resurrection. I invite you to find a partner to hold you accountable and to pray for you as you seek to live into this good news that God has so graciously bestowed upon us, the glory of the Prince of Peace in the resurrection. May you and I rejoice in that good news and live into its truth in our incarnate lives. Blessings for a joyous Easter.